Rachel, we are going to talk about Cult Mania today by Bad Habit. What a wonderful palette. Oh my goodness. I think it's like only $22. And it is a dupe of Pat McGrath. If you've wanted a Pat McGrath, but you don't have the money or don't want to waste your money, which I don't think Pat would really appreciate me saying waste money on her palette. Not exactly what I mean. But if you don't have a lot of excess money to drop on a Pat McGrath palette, then you want to use Bad Habit. So Bad Habit has this Cult Mania palette, which is, like I said, a dupe of Pat McGrath. And oh, let the clouds part and the sun ray come in on this bad boy. I have really enjoyed playing and swatching, etc., with this because it is so creamy. It is a creamy delight. I cannot believe this palette is $22 and, and performs like it does. So I'm going to do some swatchy, swatchy, swatchy. All right, we have Insomnia and Madness. And these go on really, really nice. And you're going to see that in the video because I used Madness, not Insomnia. But Insomnia is on my radar to use in another look. And it's so pigmented, my baby wipe did not do as well. So we are going to use a Beauty 360, which is kind of a makeup remover towelette. Now let's get into Fever and Somatic. Now I will say Fever is a little chunky, so you're going to have to be careful. I would recommend using your finger to put that on just because of the chunkiness. You can pat that into your eye. Somatic is has like a slight shimmer to it. That kind of concerned me in the beginning until I really got into it. And then I was like, okay, this isn't over the top shimmer. It's, it's definitely workable. I did in the video use Volatile and then we're going to pick up some Angst, which I love Angst. Look at that. Ooh, I need to do an eye with that color. And Volatile was actually blend it out nice. Volatile goes on your eye a lot lighter than what it looks like in the pan. And that was one of the things that concerned me about this was I was concerned that there wasn't that kind of lighter tone to go either all over the eye or into your crease. This one blended out really nice to do that. So those are those two pretty colors. Now we're going to get into the two colors that I love. This Hysteria is green with a pink shift, which I love. And this Outrage is kind of a red, but has like maybe a copper undertone and is just absolutely yummy, yummy. And that's the official hand signal for yummy, yummy. The last two colors is Frenzy which my frenzy seems a little dry compared to the other ones. And then we have delirium. I believe I used delirium in the eye look that you're going to be able to see. And maybe I used a little bit of frenzy. I can't remember now, but both of those, this frenzy is white with the green shift. And this delirium is a stunning rose gold color. And it almost, they both almost look wet, which is absolutely fun, fun, fun. This Cult Mania I actually have out because I do want to try a few more looks with it. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It wasn't hard to work with, which is fantastic. And it's the colors that were in the Pat McGrath palette that she put out without the price tag. And, you know, I really, there's always two schools of thinking when it comes to dupes is, you know, one one train of thought is that you're you're stealing someone else's creativity and i don't disagree with that you you are when you dupe you are stealing someone else's creativity but with some of these palettes being so pricey in today's time it really cuts out consumers that don't want to spend 100 plus dollars on 10 pans of eyeshadow even if the 10 pans are large you just want to feel like you can get more for your money. The other train of thought, like I said, is that these Bad Habit does great dupes and it really puts beauty affordable for women to be able to try that love Pat McGrath's work but just can't afford it. Or if they can't afford it, they may not want to because they can purchase other palettes at such a less price and really still have the same payout. Because when you're walking down the street, no one says, ooh, that's Pat McGrath on your eyes, isn't it? 
we are going to get ready to go into the tutorial. So here we go. Oh man, I went way too far. Okay. Well, this eye look is changing quickly. Today we're going to use some new makeup. I did buy the newest color or a newer color with the Petal Metal Smashbox Plus Vlada Lip Collection. This one is always on Petal Metal XO Vlada. So this one is a little bit more brown than the first one. The first one was kind of pink. This one is a little brownish. So I'm kind of pumped about trying a brownish one today. And that is very technical. I'm going to use the Kat Von D in D minor. Gotten into that lip color. We're going to try this in this little square tube. This in this square tube. Let's see how it goes on. Very pretty. Wow. That, I really like this pinkish one, this pinkish tone, but this brownish tone one is gorgeous. So I'm just going to see what this does. This Vlada XO does. It's the same color. So we're going to see if this one dries down and if this one is more of like a lip gloss type. So we'll see. This one hasn't dried down yet. So I'm not sure what the difference in the packaging is because the color is spot on. Hopefully we'll find out very shortly. It'll either dry down or it won't. Now we're going to use the Bad Habit Mania palette. This is a dupe of Pat McGrath. I've never bought Pat McGrath's legit palette because they're expensive. I do know there's a YouTuber that does quite a bit and she always has Pat McGrath stuff. I, I like watching it, but I just can't seem to make myself buy an original yet. All right. We are going to start with some romantic. And I was playing with these. Oh my goodness, that that says hello, sunshine. I've been playing with these quite a bit with color swatches because I just can't get over how pretty some of the color swatches are on this. So that's a really nice color going up underneath the brows. There really isn't a whole lot is in this palette that like you either have foil kind of colors or you have dark colors. That makes the palette a little difficult, but we're going to start out with some volatile. And that's going to go basically all over the lid to the crease and then softly up towards that eyebrow color. So we're just kind of diffusing it as we move up. Tilting my head back to check for patchiness. Doing okay. Doing okay. I said there wasn't any light colors, but that actually went on light all over. So that is kind of nice. It, they blend pretty good. I'm not seeing a lot of patchiness. Yay team. We're going to pick up some Madness. It's a little bit darker than the Volatile. I feel like I've done a lot of gold. We are going to use this color. I love this green. I love this white. But we're going to use some Delirium. And these pick up... <laughs> Check that out. Oh man, I went way too far. Okay. Well, this eye look is changing quickly. Can I just say, wow, those are just beautiful. If Bad Habit can put this out, I really wonder what the Pat McGrath ones are like. Can anyone comment below? I think I'm going to pick up, we're going to try a bit of Hysteria on the inner corner, which has a, is green, woo, and has a pink shift. I just want a little pop of something different. Why not? That went on with a brush. Pretty nice. Now we must line the eyes using Marc Jacobs Brownie. I also put it on the inner waterline and made sure that was into the lash line. I'm using an eye pencil on the upper line to just give a little bit more of a smudged out look. I'm going to take an angled brush, pull up some more of that madness. 
and I find when I use powder over the top of the eyeliner that it will really kind of give some staying power throughout the day and I'm all about staying power. Using a skinny but flat brush I'm going to pick up some more Hysteria. I'm going to sweep away any fallout. And now it's time for the eyelashes. I think I'm going to put on some false ones. So we shall see. But kind of enjoyed playing with this palette. Kind of enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed it too. Okay, so now I did apply some eyelashes. So that's the rest of this look. Kind of fun. Kind of fun.